Hi guys, this is Steven with AffiliateMarketingDiary.com and in this video I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add AdSense to your blog and actually what we're going to focus on today is adding AdSense just below your post title and um, in other words sandwich in between your post title and your actual post content here. So what it would look like is something like this. So you can see there's an ad unit right here add unit to the right and add unit at the bottom here and um, what we're trying to achieve is actually to have an ad right in somebody's uh, what, what Google consider their hotspot where people will actually you know their eyes will drift to first so chances are a lot better that uh, people will actually click on your ad when they actually see it right here above the fold which would be uh, above this area down here um, again you know versus this versus this so let's talk about um, actually adding this right here I'm assuming that you guys are already set up with AdSense again and uh, this is a continuation of the uh, primer that I uh, put together um, in the last video on AdSense and adding AdSense blocks to your blogger blog which were uh, was this uh, block right here and the block underneath here so let's go ahead and log in to your um, AdSense, excuse me, blogger um, account and uh, just uh, go ahead and uh, click on your blog, choose your blog, go to your template menu and you see the page elements area here and uh, for this particular exercise we need to go to the edit HTML section. Now before we do that obviously we need your AdSense code and uh, AdSense code looks something like this uh, this particular one is for a 336 by 280 ad block. It's a large rectangle. It's already been pre-formatted and uh, with the right colors and everything. And then um, what you want to do is obviously take this code and paste it in somewhere down here. Okay, as you can see, uh, there's a ton of code down here. Now, the downside is that Google doesn't understand standard code written like this because it only understands XML, a standard XML format down there. So what we need to do is just go ahead and parse this into a standard XML format. And it's actually quite simple. What you want to do is just go ahead and replace some of these symbols right here, this left arrow, right arrow, and the quotation marks with this code right here. And um, all you need to do actually, so for the left arrow, just go ahead and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Is uh, by the way, this will uh, obviously be uh, part of uh, the written portion of this particular blog post. So you can just cut them, uh, you can just cut and paste from there, and uh, just go back to your uh, uh, area here. So left arrow, as you can see here, okay. What we want to do is go ahead and go to edit, replace. Let's go ahead and uh, type this in. So we have a left arrow that has the ampersand LT semicolon, and we're going to replace all. Okay, I don't know if you guys noticed that it changed over here. Now we have the right arrow, just uh, this code right here. So let's change that there. And I'm going to just go ahead and change this manually to GT semicolon, replace all. And finally, what we want to do is take this colon and change it into this text right there. So in other words, we want to go ahead and I'll do this manually as well. Just like that, and then replace all. That's it. Now we parsed it properly. You can just go ahead and copy this text and go back to your blogger account. Um, what we need to do is go ahead and expand the widget templates right here. And um, that actually what it does is uh, adds a lot of the code that you that is actually hidden from you. And uh, what we also want to do right now is just uh, actually find the right area to paste our code into. So we have our code right here. We want to paste it somewhere within this uh, HTML area here or XML area. 
And uh, what we're looking for is uh, first, again, make sure that you expand widget templates, otherwise you won't find it. And we wanna search for this string right here. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and uh, you don't actually have to copy this whole thing. So uh, I'll just copy this area here and then I go back in here. And what you can use is a shortcut, Control F, to find this uh, string, paste, and uh, just go ahead and click Next. And there you have it. It's highlighted for us down here. Post body entry content, uh, just like we see it right here. So what we want to do is actually add the uh, this right the in between, or rather, right above that string, uh, that uh, string of code that we just found, and uh, just go ahead and paste. Oops. Of course, helps to actually copy the right uh, right stuff. So now we have our ad right here, and uh, what we want to do is just go ahead and save the template. Okay, so just go ahead and click save. changes have been saved and now you can view your blog okay so we'll just go ahead and uh, click on this here now you can see there's uh, an ad just above your uh, blog post just below your post title there's an ad here and there's an ad at the bottom here now on occasion what you'll find is that uh, if they don't have enough ads being served you might get um, just uh, blank areas or some kind of a service ad that uh, won't make you any money. And if that's the case, um, a lot of times I actually leave this particular area out. So uh, in other words, you could actually just go back into your blogger here, go to your uh, page elements, go to your blog posts, and uh, you can just take that ad out and just save changes and what will happen then obviously is that uh, that ad at the bottom is completely gone all right and then um, that's about it only other things that I can recommend is that you again use a blended text uh, for this uh, ad right here just like you did on the right hand side and uh, test it for uh, you know a couple of weeks see what kind of click-through rates that you get. Uh, if you're getting very low click-through rates, a couple of percent, uh, you might want to uh, change this to different colors, um, make this, uh, let's say, red or blue, um, this area right here, maybe blue or green, um, and uh, see what happens, okay? And that's it. This is Stephen with AffiliateMarketingDiary.com, and um, I see you guys in the next video. Thank you.